So as we discussed, uh, the last problem was the eight coins problem. I already created that video earlier. So I just added that video because uh, creating the complete chessboard here that will not be efficient. It is going to waste a lot of time. So I just edit the one video which already recorded uh, the last time. So here um, in this video, we'll discuss what are the searching techniques or what are the different searching solutions which are uh, uh, present to solve these kind of problems. And uh, let me give one more uh, thing is, uh, we discussed the missionary and the cannibal problem. And now this missionary and the cannibal problem, the state of the missionary and the cannibal problem can be represented by number of missionaries, number of cannibals or zero or one. So this how you can represent a state. And this is how there are multiple uh, paths which are possible. For example, you can have three missionaries here, three cannibals here at zeroth location. You can have three uh, missionaries here, one cannibal at zeroth location. You can have three missionaries, two missionaries, two cannibals uh, in the zeroth location and so on. So th there's a graph which are possible, which is possible, which is representing the various states in this case. Now, to solve these problems, I told you that there are two types of search approaches which are present. Search approaches which are which we use. Number one is uninformed search. Uninformed search. And the second search approach will be the informed search. Informed search approach. Now I told you, already told you what is an uninformed search and I already told you what is an informed search. And this uninformed search is also called as blind search. Blind search. And this informed search is also called as heuristic search. Heuristic search. Blind search and the heuristic search. Now, we, for this blind search, the search does not apply, does not uses any spe specific information regarding the problem domain to continue the search. Okay, again you can say the search does not use any specific, any information, any uh, specific information, any specific information regarding the domain to perform the search but in case of heuristic search search uses domain specific knowledge to perform the search Okay, now for this uninformed search, there are various al algorithms which we use. For example, we use algorithms like BFS. We use the algorithm like DFS. BFS we already studied that is a depth first search. DFS is already studied that is a depth first search. That means given a graph, you are going to apply the breadth first search procedures to perform the search. And a part of BFS and DFS, we use depth limited DFS. The other search is depth limited DFS and then we also have uh, iterative deepening search and bi-directional search iterative deepening search and bi-directional search bi-directional search and a part of this we are also going to have uniform cost search uniform cost search i hope this is visible or uh, just write it down it is uniform cost search and then for heuristic search we have some searching algorithms like we have best first search we have heuristic search then we'll be having some hill climbing problems hill climbing then we'll be having steepest hill climbing steepest 
hill climbing i hope this is visible steepest hill climbing about the steepest hill climbing we have stimulated and hailing will be having stimulated and hailing then we'll be having a star search i i think it's not visible so we write down we'll be having a star search we are also going to use ao star search a part of this a star ao star we are also having mean and analysis and constraint satisfaction search so we have mean and analysis and constraint satisfaction search satisfaction search whatever so we are going to use these we are going to study these algorithms here so in the case of heuristic search these are the algorithms which will be studying in case of uh, blind search these are the algorithms which will be studying okay apart of this we have uh, some other search properties uh, for game search uh, that is the min max search we have al alpha beta pruning we have two player games etc etc so but before this uh, we understand we should understand what are the search properties what are the search properties so the search properties uh, the first search property is the complete search but when do we call it a search as a complete search a part of this will be having what is optimal search optimal search so write down what is a complete search so complete search is a search is complete if it always gives a solution if the solution does exist and this optimal search means a search is optimal admissible optimal search is also called as admissible search so if it gives the optimal solutions for that particular problem now to evaluate these search algorithms we are going to use the again the same criteria which we evaluated to understand the algorithms that means we'll be using uh, the time complexity time complexity and second is we'll be using the space complexity we will be having time complexity as well as the space complexity okay so let let's next video let us st uh, study what is the general framework of the for the search that we will be using and uh, let us continue with this topic